This is 37-year-old Thomas Bracuglio. Thomas is sitting at the intersection of France Street and Cromwell Avenue in Rocky Hill, Connecticut, in his company truck with his dog. This is 57-year-old Meriden Police Corporal Alan Ganter. And this is Corporal Alan Ganter's fist coming through Bracuglio's driver's side window and striking Thomas on the face. So, how did we get here? What was it that was so egregious that Officer Ganter felt like the only way to resolve the issue was to use physical violence? On December 8th, 2023, Thomas Bracuglio was driving his company vehicle with the dash camera rolling when he approached a Toyota Tacoma at a red light at the aforementioned intersection in Rocky Hill. What are you doing? Wait all f***ing day. Oh, 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 oh. The Toyota he was honking at was being driven by 57-year-old off-duty Meriden Police Corporal Alan Ganter. That's when Ganter's glazed donut-covered jelly-filled ego got the best of him. Ganter can be seen getting out of his truck, flashing his police badge, and approaching Bracuglio. Really? Where does it say that? It says stop here on red. You're the one sitting on your phone doing all this. Oh, like the man child that he is, Corporal Ganter began taking pictures of Bracuglio's license plates. And of course, we all know this is for retaliation purposes. Bracuglio accused Ganter of being on his phone as Ganter did one of the only things cops are good at escalating an already escalated situation. Really? No, I wasn't. Yeah, I saw you looking no, down doing everything phone. else. No, no, I was moving something in my bag. Okay, well, and I'll see you with a ticket and I'll call your supervisor. Sure, sounds yeah. good. Ganter then threatens to give Bracuglio a ticket and call his supervisor. That's when this cop snapped and did the only thing he knew how to do, act out in violence. Let me get your badge number. <laughs> okay, asshole. You want to get arrested? You're going to get arrested yeah. for assaulting a yeah. civilian. Ganter drove away as Bracuglio placed a call to Rocky Hill Police 911. You know now the actual emergency. Hi, uh, yeah, I was just assaulted by a police officer who punched me in the face through my window. Rocky Hill Police responded and generated an incident report saying the punch left Bracuglio dazed and possibly concussed. Rocky Hill Police made contact with Ganter at his residence and at least some of the interaction was recorded on police body cam video. Although it's reasonable to assume based on past experience that much of it was muted or edited out. Is he pressing charges against me? Like for breach? Yes. Like because I yelled at well, him and stuff? For assault, because you hit him. He's saying that I hit him. Yeah. And he has video that you hit him. Then Ganter has the gall to ask officers if he can charge Broculio. And there's nothing where I can press for, for breach of peace for him yelling at me, whatever it is. But, but he yelled at me, and those words hurt me deeply. I had no choice. I had to punch him. Ultimately, Ganter, who is a school resource officer for the Thomas Edison Middle School in Meriden, was charged with breach of the peace and third degree assault. Yeah, you heard that right. This man who cannot control his emotions works around middle school children. As a profession, Meriden Police said in a statement that an internal affairs investigation determined Ganter did violate the Meriden Police Department's rules of conduct, and as a result, he was suspended for five days without pay and will be required to attend de-escalation training for three consecutive years. Officials said at the time Corporal Ganter was placed on administrative duty, he was also removed from his assignment as a school resource officer and as a result of the discipline which was rendered as part of an IA investigation, Corporal Ganter was permanently removed from his assignment as an SRO. Let's take a closer look at the Meriden Police Department letter. They said, on Friday, December 8th, 2023, Meriden Police Chief Roberto Rosado was informed of an investigation that was being conducted by the Rocky Hill Police Department. 
This investigation involved Corporal Alan Ganter of the Meriden Police Department, who was involved in some type of physical altercation while off duty. Chief Rosado was advised that a criminal investigation was ongoing, and based on this information, Chief Rosado immediately made the decision to place Corporal Ganter on administrative duty and open an internal affairs investigation to determine the nature of the incident in Rocky Hill. As part of the IA investigation, Meriden Internal Affairs personnel met with Detective Lieutenant Phelps at the Rocky Hill Police Department to ascertain the facts and circumstances surrounding their investigation. Uh, all you had to do was look at the video. The Rocky Hill Police Report was reviewed and all of the facts and circumstances surrounding the Rocky Hill investigation were discussed. As a result of the Rocky Hill investigation, Corporal Ganter was arrested by arrest warrant. Corporal Ganter, who was cooperative with the Rocky Hill police personnel throughout their investigation, turned himself in on the warrant back on December 20th, 2023. The incident happened 12 days prior. Why did it take almost two weeks to issue a warrant? We see from police body cam that the cops visited him on the day the incident happened. There was video evidence of the crime, but they didn't arrest him right then. What do you think they would have done if it was one of us? The letter continues. The internal affairs investigation has since been completed and the investigation determined that Corporal Ganter did violate the Meriden Police Department's rules of conduct as a result of his actions during the 12-8-2023 incident in Rocky Hill. As a result, Corporal Ganter was suspended for five days without pay and he will be required to attend mandatory de-escalation training for three consecutive years beginning this year. 2024. After issuing the statement, Meriden police said that they will not be discussing the matter any further, nor would anyone be made available for an on-camera interview. In other words, yeah, one of my guys is so volatile that he would lay hands on a member of the public and punch him in the face for no reason, but we're still going to have our psychologically unstable and violent thin blue line buddy working with the department. He can't work around kids, but he can work around everybody else. And we don't care if you want to keep asking us questions. We're done. Hey, Chief Rosado, I got a question for you. What kind of charges would a civilian be looking at if he punched a cop in the face during a road rage incident and then tried to lie about it? Let's be crystal clear about this. Chief Rosado protects and keeps criminals employed with his department. He doesn't care that we all know it and he won't entertain any discussion about it. I'll leave all the links to the Meriden, Connecticut Police Department in the description and the pinned comment. Share this video on their page and with everybody else. I'll also leave the link to my Twitter page where you can see the entire interaction without the censorship blurs. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. That's highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, grab a shirt. We got some great new designs you'll want to take a look at. Become a channel member, but more importantly, know what your rights are and flex your rights. If you don't use those rights, you will lose them. I get it. Freedom is dangerous, but the only thing more dangerous is not having freedom. I'll see you in the next video.